Imagine a world where artificial intelligence surpasses human intelligence, a reality not too far away. But what if this advanced AI goes out of control? The solution might be something straight out of a science fiction novel, a kill switch. Today, we're delving into why the most sophisticated AI systems may need this emergency off button. By the end of this video, you'll understand the critical importance of a kill switch in AI technology and the potential consequences of not having one. Number 1. To prevent unintended consequences The rapid advancement of the new AI brings with it the risk of unintended consequences, a concern that can't be overlooked. Think of an AI system designed to optimize a task, suddenly veering off into actions that could harm people, breach privacy, disrupt society or economies, or even pose security risks. This isn't science fiction. It's a real possibility in today's world of complex algorithms. The concept of a kill switch becomes essential in such scenarios. If we take more real-life examples that support this context, for instance, AI-driven facial recognition systems have shown racial biases, struggling to identify individuals with darker skin tones due to training predominantly on lighter skin-toned images. This has led to unintentional discrimination, highlighting the need for a kill switch. Moreover, AI-enabled scams, like the 2019 incident where a UK firm lost €220,000 to a deep fake scam, demonstrate AI's potential for intentional harm. Number 2. To maintain human control A kill switch acts as a necessary control mechanism akin to an emergency stop in industrial settings to prevent the rapid escalation of errors. Furthermore, the parallel drawn between AI certification and professional accreditation highlights the importance of maintaining high standards and reliability in AI systems. Implementing a kill switch is part of this certification process, ensuring AI operates within safe and intended parameters, thus reinforcing human control over these increasingly autonomous systems. Number 3. To prevent the risk of malfunction or error in different sectors, AI system failures have had significant consequences, like a trading algorithm triggering a market crash, a self-driving car causing a fatal accident, and a facial recognition error leading to wrongful arrest. Instances like YouTube Kids recommending inappropriate content and a social media platform's translation feature misinterpreting benign messages resulting in arrest highlights the risk. These examples underline the critical need for kill switches in AI systems to promptly address errors and prevent severe impacts. What are your thoughts on the implementation of a kill switch in AI systems to address malfunctions and errors? Do you think it's an essential safety feature, or are there better alternatives to manage AI risks? Number 4. To Mitigate Security Threats by allowing for the rapid deactivation of an AI system, it prevents hackers from causing further damage once they've gained access. Consider an AI-controlled smart grid system. If hackers gain control, they could cause widespread power outages. A kill switch enables immediate shutdown, which is crucial for preventing extensive damage. This is particularly crucial in AI-managed critical systems, where even a slight delay in response can lead to significant disruptions. AI advancements are heightening cybersecurity risks, with cyber criminals leveraging AI for more sophisticated malware, ransomware, and convincing phishing attacks using deepfake technology. AI powered bots amplify the scale and speed of attacks, making them harder to detect. These evolving threats underscore the importance of a kill switch in AI systems as a crucial safeguard against these advanced cyber threats. Number 5. To maintain ethical and moral safeguards. Coming towards our fifth reason, how do you think AI kill switches help us maintain ethical and moral safeguards? Well, here's the answer. In the healthcare example, imagine an AI system designed to assist in patient diagnosis and treatment recommendations. If this AI inadvertently learns from bias to data, it might start suggesting treatments that are less effective or even harmful for certain groups of patients. This could lead to unequal care quality and a breach of medical ethics. If such bias is detected, healthcare providers can immediately disable the AI, preventing it from making further unethical decisions. This swift response is crucial to protect patients from potential harm 
and to ensure that the AI's healthcare recommendations are fair, unbiased, and in line with medical ethics. Similarly, AI is used in criminal justice for risk assessment or sentencing, which is another example. If this AI starts reflecting systemic biases, it could lead to unfair sentencing, disproportionately affecting certain groups. This is crucial to prevent unjust treatment and uphold the principles of equality and fairness in the justice system. It ensures that AI tools do not perpetuate or exacerbate existing societal inequities. Number 6. For Legal and Regulatory Compliance In the legal world, a kill switch in AI systems aligns with the growing need for regulatory compliance. Take, for example, the European Union's Artificial Intelligence Act, focusing on transparency in AI. Politicians in Europe will vote on a proposal to bring in a law that would govern the use of artificial intelligence. The move comes after warnings from experts of serious risks and consequences if it continues to go unregulated. Here's Simi Jolla, so Jolla Oso with more. This act mandates detailed documentation of an AI system's functioning and control, including changes made throughout its life cycle. Similarly, under the EU's GDPR, automated decision-making must be transparent, especially when it has significant legal effects. In the US, the Federal Trade Commission's investigation into OpenAI reflects this trend, requiring detailed descriptions of AI models and their data usage. Even at the city level, New York City's Local Law 144 regulates automated employment decision tools, emphasizing bias audits and public transparency. In these contexts, a kill switch in AI systems helps avoid potential legal repercussions and maintains the credibility and trustworthiness of AI applications in various sectors. Number 7. To limit the scope and impact of errors. The first thing to realize is that the word artificial in the phrase artificial intelligence is real. This is particularly important because AI can be quite a mystery box. Even the experts sometimes can't predict how it'll behave. In critical areas like autonomous cars or robots, where a small AI glitch could lead to big problems, it's not just about stopping the AI, it's about understanding and correcting it. The idea is to prevent any harm before it happens. We're talking about sophisticated systems here, and while we can't control everything in AI, a kill switch helps us manage those unexpected twists and turns. In what ways can a kill switch in AI systems prevent minor errors from escalating into major crises, especially in sensitive sectors like healthcare and finance? Number 8. To prevent misuse in critical applications. In high-stakes fields like weaponry, surveillance, and critical decision-making, the implementation of a kill switch in AI systems is not just beneficial, it's imperative. The potential for misuse in these areas is significant. AI could be co-opted for unethical surveillance, prejudice to decision-making, or even unauthorized military actions. It is essential for maintaining human control over AI in sensitive sectors and ensuring that these powerful technologies are used responsibly and in accordance with legal and ethical standards. In 2023, Gannett, a major newspaper chain, faced a significant setback with its AI tool, Lead AI, used for writing high school sports articles. The AI's content was repetitive and lacked essential information, resulting in widespread criticism and the eventual suspension of its use. This incident highlights the challenges of relying on AI for nuanced tasks like journalism. In another instance, iTutor Group, an educational company, encountered legal issues for using AI that discriminated against older job applicants. This case underscores AI's potential to embed and amplify biases. Moreover, advancements in AI language models, such as ChatGPT, have been both lauded for their potential and scrutinized for accuracy issues in sensitive areas like legal research. Number 9. To facilitate responsible development and testing Think of the EU and UK, for instance. They're really on top of this, working on rules to make sure AI behaves and doesn't cause any trouble. A kill switch comes in handy because AI can sometimes work way faster than we can, and if something goes wrong, you want to stop it quickly, right? Plus, giving AI its own kind of ID, like how websites have, 
helps keep it in check, making sure it's doing what it's supposed to. And with all the big players, like governments and big organizations, focusing on AI safety, having a kill switch is like a big step towards making sure AI is used responsibly and ethically. Number 10. To manage unemployment and the workforce. So AI is growing super fast, right? And it's a bit of a double-edged sword for jobs. On one hand, the World Economic Forum says AI could actually create around 133 million new jobs by 2025, but it's also likely to phase out about 75 million jobs. So there's this huge shift in the workforce happening. Now, get this. In the US, nearly half of all jobs might get automated in the next 20 years. That's massive. And globally, we're looking at up to 800 million people needing to find new kinds of work because of automation. It's not just about losing jobs, it's about learning new stuff and jumping into jobs that might not even exist yet. As AI starts changing jobs faster than we can keep up, this switch lets us pause and figure things out. It helps make sure we don't rush into an all-automated world without a plan. It's all about balancing the awesome power of AI with making sure people aren't left behind in the job market. Let us know, and if you've made it this far, comment down below with the word 100% to confirm that you've received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.